The planet Mars has captured our imagination for millennia. Visible with the naked eye as a red dot in the night sky, it still holds many mysteries from its past that we're starting to unravel through various scientific endeavours. But one of its most impressive features is Olympus Mons, or Mount Olympus, which is the largest known volcano in the entire solar system. This video will go over some measurements, size comparisons, and explain how this volcano formed into the beast it is today. Olympus Mons measures around 21.9 kilometers tall and around 600 kilometers wide. Now Mars has a diameter of around 6,774 kilometers, so the width of Olympus Mons is nearly 10% of the entire planet's diameter. It's comparable to the size of the country Poland and nearly the size of France, Spain, or the state of Arizona. Even Enceladus, an icy moon of Saturn, is only around 504 kilometers in diameter, so the moon of Enceladus would fit inside the outer edges of Olympus Mons. Its enormous size makes it one of the most prominent features of the red planet's surface. The diameter of our moon is around 3,475 kilometers, which is a little over half the diameter of Mars. So if Olympus Mons was on our moon, it would reach across nearly 20% of its face and we would easily see it with the naked eye if it was on the Earth-facing side of the moon. Coincidentally, as the diameter of Earth is around 12,742 kilometers, that means Mars is around 53% the diameter of Earth and the moon is around 52% the diameter of Mars. So the ratio of the size of Mars compared to Earth is almost the same as the ratio of our Moon compared to Mars. Olympus Mons being nearly 22 kilometers high is extremely impressive, making it nearly two and a half times taller than Mount Everest from sea level, as the peak of Mount Everest reaches nearly nine kilometers in height. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean floor on Earth, which has been measured at reaching a depth of nearly 11 kilometers below sea level. So the total altitude measured from the bottom of the Mariana Trench to the top of Mount Everest combined is approximately 19,765 meters, or nearly 20 kilometers. And Olympus Mons alone is still over two kilometers taller than that at 21.9 kilometers. Its sheer size in all directions is just incredible for a single geological structure. Around much of the edge on the approach to Olympus Mons are gigantic cliff faces, which scientists think may have formed from landslides, where the collapse may have been driven simply by the weight of the huge volcano exceeding the strength of the rocks it's composed of. And some of these cliffs in places can reach an astonishing nine to 10 kilometers tall, so some of these cliffs alone are still taller than the height of Mount Everest. What an absolutely epic view it must be to be stood at the foot of these cliff faces. So how did Mars create the largest known volcano in the solar system? Well, there are numerous types of volcanoes. The most common type that people are familiar with are called stratovolcanoes which are the typical conical-shaped volcanoes created by high viscosity or thick sticky lava that doesn't travel far from the source, with each subsequent layer cooling and creating a cone shape over time. Whereas a shield volcano is created by a multitude of eruptions of low viscosity running lava that's less sticky and spreads far away from the source, which ultimately solidifies to form gentle slopes over a wider area. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano. Now, planet Earth has a number of shield volcanoes, but the mechanics of Earth make it currently impossible to create a volcano the size of Olympus Mons. This is because the Earth has a crust that is always moving. Let's take the islands of Hawaii, for example. These are shield volcano formations, which have been formed by the Earth's crust moving over a hot spot of magma, which has created a chain of islands from its continuous activity over the past five million years or so. But even though Mars still does have a molten core as discovered by NASA's InSight mission, Mars does not have a moving crust like Earth. So Olympus Mons effectively formed from the multitude of lava flows from the same location over potentially up to a few billion years or more. 
Its last eruption is estimated to have been around 25 million years ago, so it might now be dormant, but there is a possibility that it may still be active and could have the potential to erupt again at some point. Even though we've had telescopes for hundreds of years now, Olympus Mons was only first discovered in 1971 by NASA's Mariner 9 probe, which was the first spacecraft to successfully orbit Mars, and was ultimately the first spacecraft in history to orbit another planet. So we really needed that close look at the surface of Mars to finally discover one of the solar system's most monstrous and awe-inspiring geologic creations. So what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and share the video. Please consider joining my Patreon for ad-free uncut videos or become a channel member right here on YouTube. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves out there.